Hi everyone, no April Fools in this video or email. Uh, it's great to hear a mower outside somewhere, but we're getting somewhere at last this year. It has been very wet, uh, it's still been very mild. The grass has been growing quite a lot, even from February. It's barely been frosty, uh, as far as I can uh, remember now. So you should have given your lawn a number of cuts by this point in the year. Lawns are gonna drain at different rates, depending on what drainage and soil type that you're working with. So this might, you might not be able to give it the one cut, you might have been on them four times. By this stage in the year, everywhere's gonna be a little bit different. It's really important not to floor it with that first mow or two. Reduce the height of cut gradually. It's really easy for the length of the grass to sort of get away from us a little bit at this time of year just because of the um, amount of rainfall that we've uh, had. So never take more than a third of the height with any one cut, ideally less. Um, a little often and just drop in, the, you can always drop the, the height of cut the following weekend, for example, or even two or three days later but just drop that height of cut gradually. That won't stress the grass, importantly, because you can end up with more weeds and moss by stressing and putting the grass under any pressure. So a little and often, be gentle with it. It will, it will look good on the other side then. Early spring treatments, last couple of weeks of those now. We do get asked regarding the timing of mowing and, and treatments surrounding these. The important thing is not to mow for a couple of days either side, or if you were mowing, the day and a half before then on a high setting it just means our products you're going to get the best from them ultimately given you'll be mowing your lawn between every seven to 14 days one to two weeks across april and may um mowing two to seven days before and two to seven days after uh, would be the ideal um, in combination with treatments if you have a gardener or if um, your gardener has changed the day um, that they come to you let us know because we can make a note of that and factor that into the scheduling. So as much as I'm sure they're lovely people, we can avoid them with our with our scheduling scene, so make sure um, there's a that couple of days uh, gap. Now we're into April, scarifying, aerating, overseeding and any sort of small repairs or big repairs. It's a good time now, uh, April and early May for this sort of thing. The lawns are a bit firmer. The soil temperatures are a little bit warmer at the same time. Hopefully rainfall hasn't abandoned us completely, but anything can happen at this time of year. If it's us carrying out that work, great. If it's you carrying out that work, great. The big point of note for any repairs or seeding or scarifying, is the only time where you want to be mowing your lawn short. This is when you are allowed to stress the grass, drop the blades, mow it short. Numerous reasons. It means we can get seed into the ground a little bit easier. Scarify blades can get straight into the moss and the thatch much easier and we're not getting tangled up in healthy grass. It means you're not having to mow it too soon afterwards, um, importantly as well, if it's, if it's seeded in particular. And if we are seeding and the grass is really long, that seed isn't going to be able to get much light um, because the grass is so long. If it's a bit shorter, it actually stresses the grass a little bit gives the new seed a, a good chance and a head start rather than being crowded out from the get-go. So if you're carrying out that work yourself, and my biggest tip would be mow nice and short in the first place. Secondly is water when any seeding is involved. Again, this could be a um, work of ours or work of your own, but as wet as it is now, it won't be. Two, three, four weeks from now, it will be 20 degrees, Okay, maybe it's 16 degrees. <laughs> Hopefully it's 20 degrees. And the days will be really long, but the sun will be strong and there'll be the odd shower. And that will be it. We'll go one extreme than the other. So if you are, just like any other plant, it will want watering every day, if not twice a day. So any repair work, keep it well watered. Absolutely key. You may have to be patient with it. Sometimes germination can take two to three weeks still at this time of year. If we get a few cold nights and the soil temperature just falls away a little bit, just a little bit of patience will be needed. It's much slower to get going than a September renovation. So those that we haven't booked in, or say if it's one of yourself, mow nice and short, watering on the other side for those repairs. But yeah, that's all I've got for sort of short term tips, for sort of mowing and other bits and pieces. It's a productive, we're about just to head into a productive time of the year. 
um, if that be uh, weed control, moss control, feeding lawns, say more mechanical work to lawns, we've actually got the conditions to, uh, to do that a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, it's all about to start. More mowers. Um, <laughs> thanks very much and catch up with you soon.